Uh, Kelly is an independent journalist and filmmaker who has worked for the big guns, Bell and CBC and CNN, Al Jazeera, and is the producer of Freedom Film 2022. And she's head of Global Partnerships for United Freedom Convoy, NFTs. You guys know what NFTs are. Like, get your crypto in order before the market crashes. Let's go. Get your crypto. All right, here we go, Kelly. You tell them. Hi there. Freedom! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Good to see everybody here. Um, so, my name is Kelly Kiley. As she mentioned, I've worked for many different outlets in the past, and I've lost many <clears throat> friends, colleagues, and gigs uh, in the last couple of years. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Um, so, what's a good journalist? A journalist asks questions and seeks truth. That's something that's been very lacking in the last couple of years, and um, as people, other whistleblowers like Anita Krishna, uh, Tara Henley are speaking up now to try to educate people and inform them that the media is not what we have come to understand and expect in the past. Okay, <laughs> I was told to speak up a little louder. Um, um, so, I don't know who's aware of something called the Trusted News Initiative. It came out in just a day after Canada announced that it was uh, going to move forward with its vaccine program and it is an alliance formed by BBC, <laughs> Facebook, Google, Reuters, um, Associated Press, the U European Broadcasting Union and they all banded together to prevent the disinformation about vaccines and as a result we have not been able to ask questions any longer. Anyone who asks the question gets shut down. I started to notice that people who believed the narrative and went ahead to get the vaccines um, were, were coming together on Facebook to try to find solutions because they were having adverse events and were not, be, were, were not only not being heard, but the groups of 40,000 and 100,000 were, were being shut down. I started interviewing those people and I was told that this did not happen, that they didn't exist. And as a result, I've been on a quest to move forward and try to tell those stories and get the information out there. Um, other, um, other people like myself around the world have come together to try to find truth and find facts and get it out there. And, um, I was put in contact with somebody named Pat King who has been asking questions and as a result, he's in jail. He's now a political prisoner as far as I'm concerned for asking questions. We have to keep asking questions. We have to keep speaking up. Um, Pat King put me in touch with Dave Steinberg, and I had the privilege to ride along with him with the Freedom Convoy. And, um, and I partnered with another organization. Uh, we we're doing a film called Freedom Film 2022. So you'll be able to check that out on YouTube right now. There's many teasers, and we're going to be telling the truth because the media has done a despicable job of miscategorizing what happened in Ottawa and slandering people who are involved. We're going to get the truth out there. And uh, along my journey, yeah. <laughs> along my journey, um, I was asking other people to help with counter communications who had ideas to, tell, to band together to tell the truth. And I met Richie Marquez, and he has a wonderful project that we're now putting out there that we can raise funds to help people who have been harmed during this pandemic, such as vaccine injured people, people who have lost jobs, and people who are suffering uh, uh, mental health issues as a result of the pandemic. And I'm going to pass the mic to Richie right now, who's going to share um, our project that is going to take the flame lit by the truckers and help do good and uh, begin to uh, bring us together to make solutions through community, art, and through cryptocurrency. Just one second. Here we go. Hey, everybody. So for those that don't know about United Freedom Convoy, I'm Richie. I'm the founder of the collection. And basically what the collection is trying to do, we're dedicated to drive change. A lot of people have been hurt by this pandemic both physically, mentally, lost their jobs, and we can't sit on the sidelines any longer. Okay? This project, this collection, is going to donate 80% of all profits to nonprofit organizations that are aligned with our causes, our mission, what we try to want to change in this world. We can't just sit around and let someone else do it for us. They won't. We have to do it ourselves. Okay? This is the face of someone that's been hurt by adverse reactions. Her name's Maddie DeGarry. She was a part of the Pfizer trials, and now she's in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. Today we're proud that we spoke to Maddie and her mother and we are announcing that we are gonna do a special NFT in our collection. All of the auction profits from this NFT will go directly to Maddie herself. Like Maddie, there are plenty more people just as bad or worse. Okay, people have died from this. Okay, people are suffering from mental illness and everything else. 
We can no longer look at the past, we must look at the future, we must start the healing and we must unite. The trucker started it, we have to continue it. For everyone that wants to learn more about the United Freedom Convoy NFT collection, please go on our social media. It's United Freedom Convoy on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. I thank every single person that came out here today. It doesn't matter if it's rain or shine, negative 30 or plus 50. We will stand up for freedom and we will stand up for Canadians. Thank you all.